flying power. Here it's homing the aperture wheel. It takes a few seconds to find home. When it's done, it sets it on the largest aperture, the five degree aperture. So now the spot is being projected onto the display. You can select a different aperture by pushing the aperture select button, which moves to the next smaller aperture. So you get to the smallest one, and it wraps around and goes back to the big one. The application, bring it up. We're not seeing any video because the LEDs turned to full power and it's washing out the video. So you have to find the right COM port, and you can kind of hunt around for it like this. There it is, the stuff shows up. If I turn down the LED, now we can see with the aperture superimposed exactly what the field of view is. You can change the aperture with these little buttons right here. You can change the exposure time of the camera. Maximum is like 100 milliseconds, and this is 10. ready to take a scan with the radoma you have to put it in measure mode instead of view mode like it's in now so you say toggle shutter and at this point the fiber is looking at what we were just looking at a moment ago and this button on the left is the same thing it's a view toggles between view and measure mode you just push it all the lights go out so that when you're actually making the measurement there's no light contaminating your setup It's looking at itself.